Hello Stage 1, we've been learning about the seasons in science and today we're going to learn more about seasons that are more about seasons in Australia and especially seasons about where we live. We are looking at the seasons for the Dharawal people. The Dharawal people, also known as the Tharawal, are based in New South Wales. So here you can see our map of Australia. We have Queensland, the Northern Territory, Western Australia, South Australia, Victoria, Tasmania, and here is New South Wales. Traditionally, the Dharawal people area covers Southern Sydney and the Illawarra regions. And that's this bit here. And we live in the Illawarra region. They have six different seasons in the year and each one relates to the weather changes that we can see. Baran. Baran is a season from January to March. It is the dry and hot season. In Baran, the people struggle to catch kangaroos for meat as the male kangaroos can become aggressive and the meat can go off quickly because of the heat. During this time, fires must not be lit near bushland and must be done on sand because of the risk of fire spreading. There is a chance of storms and heavy rains. This time of the year is known because the acacia plant blooms. And here we have some acacia plant. You might know it as wattle. Marai Gang. Marai Gang is a season from April and May. The weather during this season is wet and becoming cooler. This is a time when the lily pilly berries ripen and are ready for eating. In traditional times, when the berries began to fall to the ground, it was a sign that it was time to bring out the cloaks, prepare for cooler weather and move to the coastal areas. Baraging. Baraging is a season from June to July. The weather in Baraging is cold and frosty. The eucalyptus trees begin to produce flowers which means the nectar can be collected for the ceremonies to come. In this season, it is not a good time to eat shellfish and the people know to avoid them until the acacia plants bloom again. Wirich Jirabin. Wirich Jirabin is a season in August. The weather in Wirich Jirabin is cold and windy. The acacia plants begin to flower again, which is a sign that the fish in the rivers are back and ready to be hunted. The acacia flower also is a sign of the end of the cold, windy weather and the beginning of warmer rains. Ngungnangi is the season in September and October. The weather in this season is cool but becoming warmer. This is an important season for celebrations which begin once the bright red colour of the New South Wales Waratah can be seen. Paradoi. Paradoi is the season in November and December. It is a warm, wet season. The Acacia Bineva begins to bloom, which is a sign that the fish have returned to the bays. Your task is you're going to have a go at downloading and colouring in this sheet which shows the English and Darawal seasons. So here we have the kangaroo to remind us that it was tricky for them to hunt the kangaroos in this time and the meat went off quickly. Here is the lily pilly berries down here which was a sign that once they began dropping it was to, to start moving here was time of celebration and here was a time to show it was safe to eat the seafood again. I hope you learnt a few things there and I wonder if you see any of these signs around your house, the lily pillies, the waratah, the acacia blooming and think about all the things about how the First Nations were looking at the seasons around them and didn't just divide it into three months, but looked at what the weather was around them and what the animals were doing and the plants were doing.